Let me tell you that I take my shoe game very, very seriously. I right? super serious. Like I ain't even. It's no joke. Like my J's is no joke. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. It is my shoe business. Is strictly business. I right? like. She. Y'all ain't even know about it. Y'all ain't even know about it. And <clears throat> let me recap on that real quick though for y'all, so y'all don't get it twisted. Y'all ain't getting confused. That way you're like. Oh shit, you got a shoe business, bro? You got you be making money off? Like, no, I don't have no damn shoe business, all right? I said shoe business. And then I got my business, which is my actual source of income, which goes into my shoe game, my shoe sneaker, my, I mean, shoe sneaker. My shoe sneak, my shoe game, my shoe collection, all right? My shoe, it's, it's my sneak, it's my shoe fam, you know? Because they mean something to me that was sentimental motherfucking value, and they're like, y'all ain't even know, like, yeah. And then y'all probably like, dude, yeah, yeah you, y'all shoe game is a joke, bro. Y'all shoe... It's a joke? You call this a joke? Okay, yeah, these motherfuckers are jokes. But you think you call, I don't even know how them got there actually, but this, this right here, this, you, this is a joke, T.I.? This is a joke? Y'all probably think like, Olympic Sixes, bro, you got, you pulling up the Olympic Sixes one time, like, it don't matter, these Olympic Sixes is dope, like, you, you copying these and y'all talking. After y'all copy, then y'all talk, alright? Alright, cool. So, anyways, off that, let me, y'all probably like, well, you said you take it serious, Eric. You take your shoe game serious. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, it don't, it don't matter what the hell you think or what you feel, what you, what, what questions you got. Like, I'm going to, nah, I'm going to say I do care. I do care. Yeah. And the way I, to, to break it down to y'all, the simplest way, is I go about copying each one of my J's three different ways. Sometimes two of the three different ways. Sometimes one, sometimes all three. You know, it depends on how much of the shoe, how bad I really want the shoe, if I want multiple pairs of the shoe. Not just one motherfucker, all right? Um, so, the first, the first way I go about it is, I have to wake my ass up super early in the morning, you know, get to brushing them teeth, one teeth, you know, in a bowl of burials, you know, that's what I wash my face, you know, so I get them eye burgers out, you know, all that, all that cool stuff, you know, all that fun, fun. But then, and then I have to get ready, pull out my laptop, you know, this is all around four in the morning, right? I pull out my laptop, go to the site of the store, whichever one that, I, that she was releasing the shoe, and then from up in there, I gotta go log in, make an account, whatever, if I don't have an account there yet. And then I have to wait for the shoe to release, and I have to add it to my car, go into my, do my checkout, and sometimes the damn shoe ain't even in there, so they play me, so now I'm pissed off, get my laptop, smash that shit, you know, that's what I do, so don't be talking shit, though, like, don't do it. Second way is I go, I enter in a raffle, which is one of the more convenient ways to go about it, but then it sucks, because then, like, I'm not guaranteed a pair. So what I do is I go to the store, I have to get this little, little code, you know, little raffle code, and I have to go into the side of that store, Enter in that raffle code so I can get into the raffle and have to pick, make an account or whatever, log into my account, check my shoe size, you know, got that 10 and a half, just so y'all know, like that 10 and a half, in case y'all wanna send me some shit, you know, like those next five, six, eight, my fingers is cross praying every single night, you know, every morning, every night, just hoping that I get this shoe, like, let me get it, let me get it, God, let me get it. Numero tres, you know, the uh, set that I get, that I go into, which is the one I like more, well, I don't really like it, because it has to be standing for like 12 hours, 10 to 12 hours. So I hate that, but I'm glad that I'm I like I'm guaranteed a pair. And the way this step, the way this way is, is you have to go to the store or me, I go to the store, the mall, whatever, and I have to wait outside. And I get there about 11:30 at night, 12 o'clock at night, you know, midnight. And then from there, I have to wait in line until the next morning, which is like around 9:30 or 9 o'clock, so they can let us in the damn doors. You know, the mall that we could be chilling because it's warm as hell in there and shit. Like, because then during the night, you cold as fuck. Like, you just chilling and freezing. Y'all know. Y'all know what it is. If y'all sneaker heads go out there, y'all waiting and y'all know what it is. Y'all, that ain't nothing to play with. You got to go out there with like 20 different blankets, you know, six beanies, three jackets, five pairs of sweats, some, uh, you know, that's how you get suited and booted for it. But if you show up hella late and there's like five, six, seven, eight, nine heads in front of you, they might as well dose it, get the, just leave. 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 But yeah, so like you wanna be, like if you get there, you gotta be like the first, second, third, or fourth, maybe fifth, some, that's it, the fifth, that's it. Cause if you later than five, then you ain't gonna get your damn pair of shoes, you know? But if you wanna wait and you're like really gonna risk it, like I'm not, I ain't gonna, really, I'm not gonna waste 10 to 12 hours, that's a lot of hours I could be sleeping, eating, doing that is you know? So. Nah, but that's, that's why I take my game, my shoe game seriously, because I'm guaranteed y'all, y'all wouldn't wait no 12 to 10 to 12 hours in line for a shoe. And if y'all would, y'all crazy as fuck. I'm telling you, y'all crazy as hell. That's, 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 that's something, you got something wrong going in your head, you little cuckoo though. Like, 
She don't care, I do that. So, she, I recently, like about like a week ago, my crazy cuckoo ass was waiting in line 10 or 12 hours, and y'all probably doing like, bro, what'd you cop now? What'd you cop? Let me show y'all what I cop. Let me show y'all what I cop. Bam, boy. Bam, bam. That's all y'all get. That's Duncan. I'll show you a little, I'll give you a little quick 720, 360, whatever the hell they call it, all right? This is this shoe. Pan leather, cause I'm, I'm just showing y'all so y'all don't think like, oh this nigga wearing fake shit bro, he has fake, like no, this, all my stuff is legit. Got receipts, got everything, but I ain't gotta show y'all cause I need to show y'all nothing. So yeah, like I said, got this black pan leather, you know, wraps around all the way, got that 23 in the back, that jump man, you know, got that, that bluish, I like, I like this, this bottom sole, cause it's like, it's cool. It like makes your shoe more, look more sleek, you know, it's just, and then the bottom's on yellow ass fast, you feel me? And then got that one, two, three right there, you know, you feel it, like if y'all sneaker heads know, y'all know about that. And then got the white jet man in the back and the bottom of the and so and then yeah this shoe is legit I'm telling y'all so y'all don't be like oh you wearing fake shit bro you wearing fake shit. like no this you fake nigga your friends is fake I right? they talking shit behind your back right now don't no I'm messing around your friends ain't even my friends about talking shit behind my back on these shoes though like if y'all oh yeah I forgot the carbon fiber right here y'all hear that y'all hear that yeah I know y'all hear that y'all hear that all right cool. So yeah, like, but, and if y'all want me to do a review, like, more in more depth of the shoe, shit, let, let me know and I will do so. Or I'll, maybe I'll throw up, I'll, I'll do a little, um, I don't want to do all my shoes, top hella shoes, but maybe I'll do, like, on half of my collection, you know? And then from there, y'all can choose, like, oh, bro, do a, do a review on these shoes, do a review on that shoe. Or, bro, throw an outfit with, I want to see you wearing some different outfits with those shoes, so I can see how I do, like, so you can make it do what they do, and I'm going to be like, no, I ain't going to show y'all what they do, what they do, because y'all going to be copying me my do what I do. So y'all ain't gonna do what I do, I right? No, you ain't gonna do it. Like, don't don't mess with me. Don't mess, because we'll be up there, we'll, we'll be throwing it down. Like, don't be talking about my shoe. Don't be talking about it. Don't be. Oh, yeah, I'll give you a little quick story, all right? I'll give you a little quick story. Just real quick, though. I'm gonna try to run through it real quick. I know I'm talking right now, and I should be getting to it, but now I'm getting to it. All right, it was a while back. I wanna say, like, in December. I believe it was in December, and my ass was waiting in line. I mean, I wait in line about all the time, you know? About 10 to 12 hours. For my shoe, and I started winning in a raffle. But this case was like it was back in December for my gamble blue 11s. And I remember we pulled up, you know, my cousins. We had to race these other bros that was running trying to beat us up in the line, but them dumbasses went right to the other door and we made it to our door. But to top it off, the dude that was running thought it was dope as hell. Had his blankets, had his, had his, I don't know, he had his, like food in his other hand. Like a trip, black. Round the face first round the concrete. That's funny as hell. If y'all would have been there, y'all be dying. Like, I thought, we, everybody that was capping on him the whole time, I felt kind of bad for the dude, but whatever, he tried to race me. Like, that's what you get for trying to race me. You ain't quicker than me. You ain't gonna beat me to the line. So, you might as well get your stuff, get your blankets, get your food, and get, get, walk your ass back to your car and just take off and go home and just stay there. But I got a process, because he did. He went back in the line, you know, whatever. He was a cool-ass dude, because then throughout the night, like, I was cold as hell, you know. I was, I was suited and booted, oh, I was ready, but I was still cold as hell, because it was back in December, you know, winter time. So... So I was like, the dude had blankets, you know, he had blankets. Then he offered me, he's like, bro, he's like, you know, like, I'm using my blankets right now, so if you, you're more than welcome to use my blankets, like, but when I need them, I'm gonna need it, you know? And I was like, all right, that's cool, bro, I appreciate it. You know, I got the blanket. My cousin, I had two other cousins with me, my other cousins and stuff, that, they were cool as hell too, but only one of them was gonna get a blanket because there's only two blankets. I don't know damn well, I was gonna get one because I was the one that was offered the damn blanket to begin with, you know, that makes sense, right? So, got my ass a blanket, threw it on me, you know, and I was. I was wrapping myself and I was rapping. I s took a whiff, you know, and that smelled like shit. Let me tell you that. It smelled like booty. Like, it smelled like a, he probably hadn't watched it like in 37 years and this nigga was only like 24, or 25. Like, well, you need to do something about that blanket. Like, let me do you a favor. Let me get that shit and let me go burn it and, you know, because you ain't even need it. You ain't, that's, no. Like, just get out of here with your damn stinky ass blankets, you know? That's not messing, but you know, I didn't want the blanket. My cousin was freezing, but I, let me show y'all because I had some good acting skills. I, I was great acting skills. You know, I could have won a, a grand. He got the blanket. He's like, dude, I appreciate it. You know, he's all, uh, he's all be fine, man. I'll be fine without the blanket. He's all, bro, just use it if you want. He's like, nah, bro, I'm good. He's like, just use it, man. It's cool. He's like, nah, bro, I'm good. I just, no, motherfucker, I don't want to use that. No, okay, no, he didn't say that, but yeah, so then he got it, gave it back to the dude. The dude kept it. Whatever, and that dude was like, bro, what you mean that stinky ass blanket for? And I was like, bro, you was cold, so I figured you wanted him. My bad, I didn't know what stink. <laughs> but it did. So that was a little quick story for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this. That little bit, it's that little story for y'all. I'll have more coming for y'all, so stay tuned. And then, 
And then, if y'all like the rest of the video, you know, cause I'm sure y'all bet y'all better liked it. Y'all better mother. If y'all didn't like it, we're gonna be throwing it down like Mayweather. That's what it is. And then, so, but yeah, if y'all liked it, then shit, go down and hit that like button. Go down. No, I don't even have to. Y'all should just go and hit it. Go and hit it, cause that makes it that that, that helps me out a lot. Mucho help, right? And then. And then, um, if y'all new to my channel and y'all feeling me, cause you, yeah, I know y'all feeling me. Like, I'm feeling me. I'm literally feeling me, so I know y'all feeling me, alright? So go and hit that subscribe if you new. And then go share this video too. Go share it with your hamster, you little rats that you got running around your house, your cockroaches, all that nasty, cool stuff, you know. Or go outside and go find them gophers and shit, no, I'm kidding. But go share it with your cousins, your grandma, your grandpa, your grandpa will love this. I know your grandpa will love this. So just show it to him and have him subscribe, make an account, you know. And if y'all don't got an account, make a YouTube account and then subscribe to your boy. Please, please do it, do it. No, I'm kidding, yeah, but please do it. So, I mean, that's it. So don't chuck these up if you ain't chucking these up, alright? But I'm out of Get out of here. Yo, what's good? I just want to get my boy Steph from Albuquerque, New Mexico a shout out. Uh, my boy just started his channel. Go show his channel some love. If y'all watching this, go to his channel. I'm gonna throw the link to his YouTube channel below so y'all can go check that out. So y'all can go to his YouTube. So y'all can go to his YouTube. Like all them things, you know. Like it. Like pretend that. Don't you know? Don't even like it. Love it. Like love his videos. Like pretend there's a love button right there. Go there and click it, you know, and just keep clicking it. Just keep clicking it, you know. And if and if you're on a computer, just keep tapping your mouse. If you're on a laptop, keep tapping that little thing. If you're on your phone, keep tapping the screen, you know, like, oh, damn, that rhymed the whole now. But seriously, go show my boy some love. And if y'all watching this stuff, subscribe to it. Why y'all watching a watch? Y'all obviously watching because y'all want to watch, so subscribe.